Hi everyone, Gengar here. So today I have a premium review for you featuring the Japanese Fokkerwolf 190A5. We're gonna look at this plane both in RB and in AB. I've got three matches total for you. We're gonna look at how this plane performs and if it is worth your money. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. We have been climbing from the spawn point and we have reached 4000 meters. This plane's climb rate is pretty decent. There is a few planes that can out climb it of course at its battle rating and the battle ratings it can face but uh, it can still do a, a great job using web a little bit here and there. The problem with uh, using web too much though is that this engine overheats quite soon so you have to really look at your heat management during RB matches very important but yeah climbing is important so you do want to use it a bit in the beginning and uh, maybe in your first few dives you can put the throttle to zero and you will cool your engine off again just keep an eye on it because it does happen a lot overheating now here we're going to use the dive speed of this plane which is excellent uh, the characteristics of this plane are also excellent in a dive it's where it does its best performance and we're gonna go for this F4U here who was after my ally there who was going after the Hellcat and we saved the ally there that way uh, P51 here cannon version we put him on fire and uh, the great firepower of this plane shows itself here two planes easily killed in two passes if you get guns on targets with this thing, you will disintegrate people. Now here we go for another dive. We have put the throttle down to 70% and we're going to put it down even further. There we go, zero. PBJ is presenting itself here. Good target. 420mm ripping into him and we shoot off his wing. We started off a little light on our lead there. But swa. He went down. So we're gonna climb again and we're gonna look for the next opponent. Now that's gonna take a while. This typhoon that comes into view here will not be kill that we make. He's gonna go down to the deck and we want to climb because there's still a few opponents on the map. And what you don't wanna have in this plane is that you are low and slow. And uh, as this plane doesn't have the best energy retention and best top speed in a straight line, in level flight, you want to uh, keep this plane working in the vertical, that's why I want to fly again. So I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to come back to you when we find our next opponent. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, we found the P-47 that is high up there. And he was above their airfield of course, retreating to the airfield is logical. But uh, two of our allies were shot down by the AA and I turned away from the airfield. I didn't want to get shot down in that sense. When you get in a situation like this, where you probably will have to fly defensively, you have a couple of options available to you. The Fokkerwolf 190s and also the A5 have excellent roll rate, one of the best in the game. Maybe even the best in the game and it also has excellent dive speed. And due to its short, stubby, strong wings, it can also do a lot in dives with maneuverability. Where other planes rip their wings if they follow you. So. Going into a dive is very good, using your roll rate is very good in defensive. And a last resort, of course, as well, is head-ons. This plane's firepower is very good. And here we use a roll rate to get out of the way. And we do crit him there. And it looks like we shot off his left wing tip. And he didn't go down immediately. But he does leave off that little smoke trail you have when you shoot off people's uh, wing tips. And he does jump out there. I think he jade out. So that's our fourth kill. Uh, in a very nice, comfortable plane. Very good platform for its guns. Awesome firepower. And like I said, very good in the vertical this plane. And that's where you want to use it. Don't go uh, low. If you get slow, you are dead. And when you start turning, that is not where this plane's strengths are. Especially not in RB. Anyway, you see this B25 there. We are not going to get it, unfortunately. We did get very close. We almost got to our uh, shooting range. 
We got guns on target so much, but then the key X the one that is engaging him already there got a shot at him and killed him. So we got four kills in this match. I'll see you at the scoreboard. So here we go. Four kills. Let's see what uh, the scoreboard brings us. Top of the team. 5,000, almost 6,000 research points. 103,000 silver lions. We got best squad, survivor, and hero of the sky. Or sorry, uh, terror of the sky. Nice match, and I'll see you in the arcade match. Hey guys, so here we are in the first arcade match. We have been webbing and climbing as fast as we could. We are approaching 4,000 meters. And we also are approaching a few opponents here. See a Yak-9 who has climbed to a similar altitude, a little higher. And a P-51 who is slightly below us in altitude. And there's a P-51 on our right as well. But we have several allies in the neighborhood. And I try to keep an eye on everybody here. The P-51 seems to be going down. Here we're full whipping, trying to get some speed plane does very well when uh, top speed that guy rolled out of the way as soon as we started firing and I roll out of the way of this guy because I was too late getting guns on target on the P-51 but he didn't hit us at all so that's fine and we have got to optimal al altitude for some boom and zooming which this plane excels at in the vertical is how you want to use this plane and we have reached a point where we arrived at the bomber spawn almost there's uh, one fighter be behind us and this B-17 is quick quickly disposed of by our four 20mm guns the firepower on this plane is excellently suited for some bomber hunting but works well on any kind of plane to be honest when you hit with this thing everybody, everything falls apart so we're looking at the the guy that was after us and he is chasing the Corsair but I don't want to go down and lose my altitude in straight in front of the fighter spawn, the enemy team and we've got several bombers coming in here as well and we don't want to lose this match in a, in a bomber spawn in the first uh, moments here so I'm gonna try to go after these two B-17s I'll let the doe go because I can't go after three planes at once. But as you see these B-17s just fall apart with uh, by this plane. This is excellent stuff. We're, we, we took the lower one first and now we're climbing up to the second B-17. Taking the lead. And there he goes. Now in IAB you have much less problems with overheating. Uh, that in the plane shows in realistic battle. So you can abuse the web uh, to your liking. You will need to because you want to keep your altitude, you want uh, your zooms to be effective and then uh, you get your altitude back. Now we get the Beaufort. We were thinking about the Yuck but he was extending away from us and we have another bomber to kill here, another B-17. Now that's going to be our fourth B-17 in this match and the Beaufort, so we killed five bombers. We did our job with killing bombers. But now we have got the attention of several guys who we killed. And they have respawned in fighters and they are climbing. And they want to get us. So now we can see if this plane can do some stall fighting. Now let's see. We have 300 speed, we're at 4000 meters and we have several opponents coming in. We have a Spitfire here, we have a Focke Wolf 190, we have a P-51. They're all trying to climb up. The Spitfire is the closest though, and of course is the best climber. It's an American uh, P-51, the US one. Mark 9, it has an excellent climb rate, much better climb rate than our Focke Wolf here. And we're doing a climbing spiral here. That guy seems to be elevator using only. I don't see him using his rudder. He gets killed in a head-on with the friendly Corsair who survived against the other opponent. We've got a 7B incoming 
and he just loses his uh, his climb right there at the last minute he can't keep his nose up enough to get a shot at me and we kill him now we are back to climbing we've got a uh, p51d probably a 30 d30 they have excellent climb rate and we also have a spitfire they are very close so we're gonna go up here into stall stall speed and we're gonna hammerhead on top of this spitfire here Uh, we've got about we, we already got uh, 300 feet again so you see the acceleration from uh, stall is very nice and we are back to 500 speed 4000 meter altitude and we can go back up we've got uh, still got a few guys coming up here we've got an era cobra we can't stop that heinkel 111 there unfortunately and several attackers the typhoon and the p47 probably equipped with bombs look at our tickets despite the fact that we killed five bombers in the initial phase we still get blasted away on tickets here uh, let's see what the air cobra wants he seems to have gone down a little bit and stopped climbing maybe he picked up some speed maybe we'll go for the i-185 there Oh, no, hey, there, there, the Cobra is coming again. So we're gonna have another tall fight here. We have 500 speed though, so we're going down for him. As I see him stalling out. Easy kill. And there goes our ticket. So, unfortunately, this match already ends. I, I would have loved to show you some more stalling here. Tall fighting here. But, uh... It wasn't meant to be apparently. We've got 44,000 silver lions, 3300 research points. We have survivor and terror of the sky. First of the team. Hey guys, so here we are in the second AB match. We have been up tiered in this match. As you see, we even have a uh, Messerschmitt 262 in the, in the map. We have a lot of high tier prop fighters as well like a TA 185 there and uh, K force stuff like that so even with all these superior planes in the map uh, Sea Fury is climbing higher than me there on the right several TAs you see still in arcade you can abuse the web and, and the climb rate of this plane isn't stellar like I said but it's, it's still good enough to be able to climb to a, a decent altitude and there well, there's often matches like this, one airfield domination match, you see almost everybody is below us in altitude. And despite their beta performance in the as, uh, with climb rate, uh, you can still get there. Also you have matches sometimes, of course, where it doesn't happen. But let's see how we can perform from our altitude here with a good start in energy against better planes in this match up tier matches are always fun in that sense we've got a doe 217 here you get a hit in on a central gear leg and we got we got to kill <laughs> i don't know how we did that but he crashed into the ground apparently before anybody else got him maybe that hit was more extensive than i thought and the central gear leg pulled him down into the ground and got hooked on a tree or something I don't know anyway that was the first kill Excellent. now we come back from this dive and we try to get some altitude back that sea fury there on our right is a problem but still if we dive in here and we go to the other side of the airfield we shouldn't have a problem with him and hopefully he get pulled down by somebody in a dive doesn't get back up hopefully And here you see the nice acceleration in a dive. Good handling as well. More 750 here. We get the Spitfire. Now we're gonna get some shots here on the Ta. He's extending towards there, coming planes. We do get a crit on the guy. There's several people here going up after a Ta of ours. I should get some nice kills if these guys climb up 
enemy for 10 here, we do get the kill on him. We're turning in to go after the doe there. Picking behind us, there's a focal wolf behind us, but he's turning off. But we do have a tail, D model, but uh, he gets shot down by an ally, and we're gonna get shot from this uh, second doe here. He lost tail control, that's nice, but we don't get the kill, we get an assist on that guy. Now the ME262 here is wrecking havoc on our team. Really want to kill him. Of course he's much faster than us. So you need to lead more when you face jet. See if we can get him. Already put some, uh, some damage in on him, that's why he's smoking. But he's going faster than us of course. We get a D12 while well, we turn to the left and saw an ally in trouble. There's an A8 here. We do get him as well. Now we've got a BF 109 incoming and he seems to be coming for us. He used the roll rate of this plane to get out of his way and he decides to shoot at somebody else and he crashes into that guy. JU 87, probably a D5. Yeah, it is a D5, but he gets shot down by one of my allies. Here's an A5 coming for me. I'll make a turn. I'm, I've, I've got a problem now with this plane. This is not the strength of this plane. Being low and slow. I'm fighting in the horizontal. And I've got away with it so far. This A5 seems to be hot for me. Even though under fire he's still, he's still focusing on me. But he does uh, get killed there almost as we get guns on targets with him. We could have gotten him ourselves. A one, uh, 109 there, K4. We need to get him, remove him from the playing field here. A very good plane. We do get the assist though. Several targets coming in here. We're going for the G here. The G tank. Another G10 here. Many good planes in this battle. Take the lead, we only have our machine guns though. Jim. Here uh, our cannons come back online. And we get the kill. And it wasn't a G10, it was a G6. Sea Fury is still high up there, but he's way uh, removed from the battlefield. I don't know what he's doing there. Not effective. G2 drop spawning in there, still a good plane. Many 109s in the enemy team at the moment. There's another G there. Very difficult shot there, straight from behind. Small silhouette. We've got a, an F4 coming in here. And we, we're using rudder and elevator to avoid his shots. I lost sight of him here. It seems like he turned off. Yeah, he turned off. Probably saw a lot of my allies coming in and he thought the better of it. Now again, we've got several opponents coming in here. We don't have the airfield at the moment. Now as you have seen in this, in this match, we haven't really used this plane in its boom and zoom role. We have used it more or less as an energy fighter. And we have been getting away with it. It is not recommended to do this. But you can still do a lot with the roll rate of this plane. It has good elevator and rudder control. Which you can use to your advantage in, uh, when you get a tail. And people overshoot then easily when you're low and slow. The roll rate is excellent for that. We get an assist on the MA410 there and we've got an LA9 behind us. It does get shot down though by our allies there. And we've got another a Dutch G14. He gets killed by our allies again, so we're still good. Looking for a next target. 
There's a Dora and a Heinkel coming in. And there the Dora gets us. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now after looking at this plane quite intensively the last few days, you know, taking its performance from realistic battle and arcade battle and looking at this plane, it's quite a nice plane. Pokewolf 190s has always been one of my favorite lines in the German 3 and this is a Japanese premium. It performs much the same way as the German A5. It's great at boom and zooming. It is good at high speed handling, great acceleration in a dive, decent climb rate and um, good roll rate. Fantastic firepower, this plane has everything a good boom and zoomer needs. You need to be very disciplined with this plane and in RB it suffers a little bit of overheating which you gotta watch. But otherwise it is a lot of fun to fly this plane. If you can't get the altitude you can always work from the sides, use this plane as a support plane. But you will see that especially in arcade there's often moments when you do get to get uh, to altitude and you can fulfill this plane's dream roll which is boom and zooming. As to whether you want to buy this plane or not I would say that this is a very nice addition to a Japanese line 5.3 battle rating in AB and in RB it sits at 4.7 so that is very nice and uh, you can definitely use this plane and grind with it or if you want if you say you're at Japanese tier 3 and you want to grind out tier 4 and tier 5 then maybe the Focke Wolf 190 A5 is the place to be for you I really like it I bought it I never regretted it for a second and uh, maybe it can do a job for you too but I can definitely recommend it Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something there. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video. You know, those likes really make a difference. Do leave me a comment. You know, I always look forward to the comments every day. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community I really love to have you aboard and uh, don't feel shy to leave me some comments I always try to respond to them so again I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye